Hey guys, it's Josh, the 98 Know It All, coming to you today on February 6th, just to give you guys kind of a, a rundown of things that have been happening in baseball. Uh, as you guys know, the Mookie Betts trade uh, happened yesterday, kind of. It's still not complete. I actually have a whole video uh, just talking about my thoughts on that, talking about the Dodgers, how I think they won that trade, but I understand also why the Red Sox made the trade. Um, kind of talked a little bit about the fan base. I feel bad for the Red Sox fans. They lost a guy who was, you know, one of the best players in all of baseball. And they got, you know, some good talent coming back, but not the same level. So you know, we'll talk about that for a little bit. Talk about James Paxton. Uh, he's out and injured again for another three to four months. Talk, take a moment to talk about the Reds and their offseason. Uh, just kind of talk baseball. Once again, it's kind of a rundown of things that are going on. So guys, right off the bat, you know, before we get going, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help out. Uh, it lets more people know that there are videos coming out. Uh, it gives you messages in your email when a new video is posted, but it also helps out for the kind of the algorithms. That way more people will find the channel. Uh, and we can have more baseball discussions. And that's really what we do at 90 Know It All. We just talk baseball and have fun. So guys, you know, today, you know, it's been a pretty slow day. There's not a lot of News coming out, Max Mun Muncy did uh, sign an extension with the Dodgers. I think that's a great decision by the Dodgers. He's become one of the best hitters in the National League, and they got him really for, for pretty cheap. I think it was, what, three years, $25 million? Uh, for a hitter, that's, that's pretty low uh, in terms of what most guys are getting. So that was a good deal for them. Uh, I think that's it just keeps their lineup strong, especially once the Mookie Betts trade does go through. Uh, that's going to be a pretty dangerous lineup, top to bottom. You know, they've got some guys who are already established, guys who have proven they can they can do go out there and hit the ball well. You got Justin Turner, who uh, one of the best clutch pure hitters uh, in the game right now. You got Bellinger, who's one of the hottest young hitters, and plus they got a lot of other guys who are coming up as well. So that team's going to be pretty pretty strong offensively. Pitching wise is the question mark, but you know, there's been teams in the past that have just gone out there and just outscored everybody 10-8 to 8 and been okay with it. A win is a win. So that's one of the things that, that's kind of going on. Uh, the trades have been kind of held up a little bit. Uh, it sounds like, from what I read, the Red Sox looked at the medical history or something of the, of the pitcher they got from the uh, Twins, and they determined that he would fit more as a reliever and not a starter in the future. And that's why it's holding things up. And I don't know. That seems like kind of like seller's remorse to me. Uh, the Red Sox are looking at this going, oh, well, we thought he'd be a starter, but his medical stuff clearly shows he's a reliever. Um, I don't know what they're looking at, how they're seeing that, if that's really the case. But the bottom line is this trade's going to happen. There's no way the Dodgers are going to get this far and not – you know, not complete the trade and get bets on the team. So it'll happen. It's really not even that, you know, big of a worry for Dodger fans. Just takes a few more days. Spring training hasn't even started yet. Uh, other news in baseball, James Paxton is out for three to four months with a back injury. And I will tell you guys, I love Paxton. He is one of my favorite players in all of baseball. When he was a Mariner, he would go do fan fests and special signings all over the place and I saw him probably five maybe even six different times signing autographs that I went to and every time he was just laughing and smiling having fun with the fans you know the the people in charge of the events would be like one card per person one item per person and he would just ignore that you know if you had if you gave him a card and you had other cards in your hand he would like tell you to put the cards down he'd sign them all he signed everything. I've got so many Paxton autographs. It's not even funny, but I, I love it. The guy was great for the fans. But on the field, he gets hurt a lot. He, he's always injured, it feels like. And it's a shame because when he's healthy, he is dominant. He is one of the best pitchers in the game when he's healthy. I think it was just like, like two years ago, I picked him to be in the top five for Cy Young vote getting. Uh, for the American League, and he had a season that, that could have done it and really been up there. Just he, he got hurt and he missed starts, and and it's a shame. He's a great talent. He really is a great pitcher. He's proven that even with the Yankees, he can go out there and, and battle every fifth day and just 
give them a chance to win every time he's on the mound. So I feel bad about this because I like him, but at the same time, he gets hurt a lot. There's he's injury prone, and you know some of those injuries you can't help. There's nothing you can do. Some of them you can. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Some guys just seem to be injury prone, and I don't know why that is. Because I'm going to go out there and say that I bet Paxton works pretty hard. I don't think he's a lazy guy that doesn't take care of himself. For some reason, his body just breaks down differently than everyone else's. So it's a shame. You know, he'll be back in like June or July, which isn't the worst thing. You're talking about a guy who, yeah, he's going through rehab, but he's going to be rested and ready to go. And let's say he comes back July 1st and he spends the month of July kind of doing that spring training, getting started, you know, extending his innings. He's going to hit August and September and go into October at at his prime for the year, at his max point. So I think this is actually going to be a, a good, not a horrible thing. It's not a great thing for the Yankees, obviously, but not necessarily the worst. So let's jump to another topic, jump to the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, we actually just had an article on 90 Know It All site posted this morning uh, talking about the Reds. David Washburn wrote a, an article, just a really a nice long one, breaking down how the, the NL Central – it's going to be different this year. It's going to be different. It's going to be crazy. I think it's going to be the best division race in all of baseball, uh, especially with the some of the other divisions kind of losing guys and losing their strength. Uh, like the NL East, I think, is not as strong this year. They have the World Series defending champions, but I don't think the Nationals will be as strong. So I think that race has kind of gotten weaker. You know, I think the NL Central is going to be the best race. I really do, and I th- – I said it on my video for way too early predictions that I had the Reds winning the NL Central, and I'm sticking to it. The more I think about it, the more I think that they are the favorite to win it. So I'm going with it until something else changes my mind. So right now I got the Reds to win the Central, and we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll do some more research and and figure it out and change my mind. So I don't think so, though. I think the Reds are my pick. They're my uh, underdog to pick this year. So... So a lot of other things, you know, it's been kind of a slow day, baseball-wise. Been checking Twitter to see if there's anything to talk about. Not a whole lot. There is. Brand new 2020 Top Series 1 packs came out yesterday, I think. Um, I actually went and checked Walmart the other day. They didn't have them. Went to my local Fred Myers. They did have them. I think Kelly found them there last night first. I saw his uh, Twitter or his tweet out about that. So I was like, oh, I'm going to swing by there today. I got the uh, loose packs, and I really hate these because a lot of times when I get packs like these, I find like one of the cards is bent because it was slid up, and then something pushed it back and bent it. So I don't like getting these types of packs. I'd much rather get the boxes, but for this one, I want to get as many cards as possible. I actually bought four of them. Uh, so I could do a, a break or kind of a, a reveal and kind of my... You know thoughts on the on the packs and on the cards uh, later today. I actually have two videos I just did uh, like two days ago that I haven't quite posted yet, and it's for the 2019 Tops Fire set. I think it was what it was, um, and then the 2019 Tops uh, updated set. So I, I opened those just for fun. I hadn't bought any of those packs at all. Um, I just hadn't gotten around to doing it. So I actually bought some of those. Open those, recorded that. I'll have those up probably probably this weekend. And then this I'm hoping to actually have done and posted maybe even tomorrow morning. Uh, it kind of depends on how things go. It's a little bit of a crazy day today. I just got home from taking my youngest to story time and going shopping to get those. So, I don't know. I'm going to try and open them today. I think I might be able to. And if I do, I'll post it tomorrow. Also working on getting a fantasy baseball video. I'm going to do one video just talking about my approach to the to the fantasy baseball. I, I like to have fun. I have a couple different kind of themes that I go with. I do a, an all autograph team, so I only pick guys who I have autographs of. My team used to be stacked, um, but I haven't gotten as many autographs the last couple of years, so my team's a little bit, little bit weaker, but I got some guys who are up and coming, so I got a chance to be a solid team. And then I just do go out there and pick the best player type of draft as well, so... I have a few different things I'll do. I actually am going to do a live video of one of my drafts. I was going to do it last night. Uh, things happened, schedule changed, couldn't do it. 
Um, but I'm going to do a live video uh, with just my draft. And, you know, if anybody wants to come watch it and goof off and leave comments, you know, even just sit and chat, we can do that as well. So a couple things we got going on, having a lot of fun, just relaxing. I turned on my ESPN Plus on my Roku just a little bit ago, and there are baseball games scheduled for next week on ESPN Plus. I'm so ready for college baseball. I'm 23 days away from the first games here in, in Longview and Kelso. Going to watch some college ball. I'm pumped. I'm ready. I, I, I can't wait. I just cannot wait for baseball to get here. So, guys, with that, I'm Josh and I know it all. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out some of my other videos. I got interviews, other baseball talk, a lot of different things just for fun. See you guys later.